taken to the podium at uh, the funeral service of the late Free State MEC for Education, Tate Mark, where we go there live now. So protocol was established. So haki sa piti asura ki mamele. Nesaru di melane hore re tla dumetsa le la pa fela le mo premier. Mpa wena he jongo mphathi fa ntu buliswe. No ba kune protocol, ma ndi bulise ke program director. Comrades and friends, indeed today we are gathering here to bid farewell to a great man. Comrade Tate. Indeed, we are here to confirm that this great man has departed from his physical world. He has shuffled off his mortal coil. And as a basic education sector, we are heartbroken, we are gutted by his untimely demise. As we bid farewell to Dr. Tate Marquay, Chair, we do so with heavy hearts, but at the same time with a great sense of gratitude for the time we shared with him. We take great comfort in knowledge that, we will be that he will be remembered as a true champion of basic education and a servant of people. Indeed, I want to heed the advice that came from D.H. Lawrence when he said, the dead do not die, they look on and help. Therefore, we acknowledge that Tate Marquay has left this earthly realm and his spirit has ascended to a higher place. As the Bible reminds us, for dust, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. So as we say goodbye, we recognize that these words mark the end of a very beautiful journey, a life well lived in the service of humanity. Sadly, we accept that we have to come to terms in the fact that Comrade Tate's time with us has ended and his spirit has transitioned to an eternal realm. And despite his legacy, it will endure and will continue to cherish his memories. Because his life was a testament to his dedication to serving others and his contribution to the basic education sector, and this we'll never forget. We may feel weak now in the face of this tremendous, tremendous loss, but we find strength in knowing that Comrade State legacy will indeed live with us as long as we live and cannot die. He was a leader who enormously impacted the basic education sector. You see, Premier, when we were announcing the results this year, I told other colleagues to say, I first let us say it Even the gap is opening, there's no longer competition. He's already put solid a solid foundation that has made free state unshakable. I was very privileged to have worked for a very long time with Comrade Tate. When we were appointed together in 2009, and we had a discussion with him, I think uh, Comrade Regina was also in that cohort. And I said to Comrade Tate, you know, five years in Yang, and I have a clear target. That's what I'm taking. I'm going to look at OBEA, which we have started fixing and stabilize the sector. I would say my work has been done. And I explained to him how I think we should travel this journey together. And Comrade Tate says to me, you know, now, Minister, I'm a scientist. I'm not an educationist, lead, we will follow. In no time, Comrade Ted was not, not, only, not only following, but he was leading. He was very thoughtful, very conscientious, but also very brave. 
But some of the decisions that Comrade Tate had to take, I know he will say, I on to when I'm in Starts with a bit, Scott Swap PFMA, I was in finance, I on to you. Literally, Jerobi Mulao. He was very brave, but also very hardworking. I always said to people, Hi, Sir Sebet, if I said, I could Hi, Sebet. If any change we want to do it does not work in the free state, which means it's not possible for it to work. And that's how Tate had really, uh, made the mark. He was very committed to his work and led to many achievements for the free state and the entire country. Remember, when we took 2018, 2019, the country was at 60 percent in terms of metric pass rates. The free state was not even in the top three. number two. I number two. It was not even in the top three. We had Western Cape and Gauteng, Northern Cape at some stage came in, it's like hello number three. Free State was not even in the top three. We had 60%, but now when Comrade Tate leaves, we're at 81%, a whopping 20% improvement. <laughs> and the Free State did not only lead in terms of metric, because we even, Rainyanye Falta, uh, their achievements. This year, the Free State years was a top leader statistically in metric results. He had the top district amongst the 71 districts. It came from this province. <laughs> Free State was acknowledged as having the best district with school nutrition this year. That's why we're here in the province. When we looked at the basket of indicators, Free State was leading in many respects. In your primary education, in your meds, there was no time where in the Free State you will not even have them in your, in your music competitions. They were really all rounding and shooting from all other areas. Even in schools of, uh, of specialization had started to even encourage other provinces, young friends that are not wanted to go to specialization because they were leading even in that sense. And indeed, he was a lifelong learner. Because as he said, now I'm not an educationist, but he started leading in the sector. He was a leader, but also a very humble servant who paid attention to everything and attended to his work with utmost dedication. DM Hollow during this week said, even when we were in CM, before the other MECs joined us, when they keep quiet with this Sufikiri, why did it? Because we knew from them we'll always could get good counsel, but also good advice. Having had the privilege of working with a long time with Comrade Tate, he had even become a sounding board for me on very on different matters. As a result, I used to even adv uh, 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 invite him to join to some of the national international trips so that we also, when we come back, we share experiences which would have been perhaps only uh, 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 been exposed to the national minister. I know I traveled with him to Belgium, we've traveled to Finland, we recently went with him to Cuba to go and study the ECD model since the, 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 the function had been shifted to us. And we had plans to go to the Seychelles to also go and study the, the, the world's best ECD program. When Premier phoned me about him, the passing of Comrade Tate, I was really gutted because I was with him two weeks and three weeks now. We had a beautiful two days full session with him in the province. With him, we visited a program which we call Second Chance, which is what you are talking uh, to uh, uh, SG. We had agreed with Comrade Tate to say, let's look at young people who have completed, who've passed well, but have not been placed, and who are at home with good certificates. Let's look at kids who have to rewrite Let's also look at kids. And it was a pilot we we're going to do to, to, together to enrich our second chance program. And typical of 
the Free State, the event was packed to the rafters because he was a real organizer. And we couldn't process him because at a meeting where we expected not less than 300, 200 young people, we had more than 2,000 people of young people during the day who all came with certificate, with papers, and we agreed with Comrade Tate, we not, uh, month end, we'll have a big uh, event, we'll call all national departments to help us process young people and see how we can assist them. And I know wherever he is, we'll still want us to continue that program without him. And I did say to Comrade Tate, this need program of young people who are not in education, in employment and training, if it has to work, I'll see if it works in the free state with your leadership. So I can't say that I can't say that I can't say that I The next meeting, and as I said, we'll continue with the program that the Muloy, in his memory, we have. The next program, we also on the same visit went to the ECD program. A very difficult meeting. But what stands out for me with that detail was it was a difficult meeting with very heavy conversations. But two things happened there. I said to that detail, you're doing quite well on top here. But look at the free state in your children who are school ready by five. You're not doing well. In terms of access as a province, you're not doing well. And Comrade Tate asked me to give him the reports now. I promise you the next day he had read the reports and had a clear sense of what, as the province, they were going to do to address the things we spoke about yesterday. But what hurt me most also, it was when we left the meeting, we all agreed, right, what a difficult meeting. And his typical Stasar Marbamanga, ECD is too important not to succeed. We're going to crack this one tweet. And that's a commitment. We even shook hands to say, because Comrade Tate was committed to addressing challenges that were highlighted in the report, but in everything that he came across. During our visit in Cuba, he was very ill. But when we said to him with Ambassador Posa to say, no, wait, we'll get doctors, he refused to miss, to miss any session. He, dra he pulled himself along until we finished the program, which displayed his unwavering commitment to his work and his steadfast determination to see things through. Indeed, he was a true champion of education, and his energy would light up any educational function. Indeed, when we were in Tabanchu, and also all the officials at the FAPA, you really acknowledged him. It was a beautiful occasion. He was at his best. He was very happy. In Zelena, it is simply the best. It was so heartwarming to see the entire committee that came there, Hapa Hama, who be not simply the best, Ubona Rabamu Kota. So, they were not Kotoyo, the Trompe de la Mufayona, Kanakwa Sense Apila, me Ibona Lena Relebu. Because he will beam with joy at the sight of the province's exceptional performance, his teachers, principals, managers, and he never stopped thanking them. And his passion for education was very contagious, and he will inspire all those around him with his infectious enthusiasm. It was as if education functions were his stage and he was the star performer, captivating the audience with his unwavering dedication to improve the lives of young people. There's no surprise that during his, uh, <coughs> that his untimely death, they have lots of condolences uh, 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 pouring. And I want to thank you again, Premier Unzuseka, for 
Because when the phone rang, I wrote the And at least I think that we were talking about Comrade Tate. But it really helped because as soon as the news became public, my phone rang the whole day. Ex people expressing their shock as national, not only as a pro everybody was quite shocked. And I got lots of messages. I'll, count, uh, I'll read a few. For instance, a former deputy general, he, she phoned me exactly when the news were going on. What, what, on, on to my and I heard the news of, of uh, Comrade Tate's passing. So sad. May his soul rest in peace. And he said, CEM, which is Council of Education Ministers, will never be the same again. And we all agree, it will never be the same again. And he asked us to give the condolences. I also got a similar message from somebody who doesn't talk, uh, 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 necessarily talk to, 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 to me, Palisa. He said, what a great loss, not only to the education sector, but also the entire country. To be honest, I saw him as one of our next ministers of education. May his beautiful soul rest in eternal peace and glory. CEM will never be the same again. We received messages from Bell, from Naptos, I don't want to read them because of time, from Satu, from Natu, from the South African Center, all our teacher unions sent us messages to really bemoan the tragedy. We also received a number of messages from all our national teacher unions, all of them expressing shock and sadness at his passing. The DA also through it, uh, Mama Jesse also sent, and I'll read her message, it says the DA extends its deepest condolences to the family, friends, and the colleagues of Comrade Ted. His passing is a great loss to the education sector in South Africa, and his contributions will be sorely missed. The Education Portfolio Committee Chair herself also said we should pass the condolences to the family and the province. The DA also through its representative, the shadow and minister, also expressed their condolences. Minister Pando also wanted to be here. She also sent me her message, which I'll, I'll give to the family. All our partners in the sector, Uma Lucy says, when that uh, are here, are here, they also send messages, which again will pass to the, uh, 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 to, to the family. Our various school governing bodies and teacher unions have also made, sent their heartfelt condolences to a hero in life and death. Our country has really lost one of the most outstanding education leaders and the one who was simply the best. As Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people never forget how you make them feel. And Tate made you feel so good, so safe, and so comfortable in his space. His leadership and vision made people feel inspired, feel valued, and empowered. He was known for his consultative and coll collaborative unity. He felt he motivated people. People felt very motivated to work harder, to improve, and contribute to the great, to the greater good. He had a way of making people feel like they had a stake in the success of the education sector and that their efforts were appreciated and valued. Indeed, Comrade Tate, Tate left an indelible mark on numerous people's lives and his legacy will remain a source of great inspiration. Although we bid him a final farewell as his body returns to the earth, his spirit will forever be with us. As we contemplate his accomplishments in life, we are struck by the immense influence on South Africa's basic education sector. Indeed, it was after the call when the news were mentioned that I really, for the first time also, came to appreciate the immense contribution that Comrade Tate. And Trump and our Comrade, uh, comrade Nopala went to MCA listing, and I remember that meeting. The NC screamed to say, hi, Bo, would you have to stay at they can't leave this man out. He's right. I was in that meeting. They said, no. 
And it's only myself when there were lots of numerous calls that came that I said, actually this man was big and sometimes Hantoili Haufi wa inyaza ibo nakiba tuba hulelwein. So mtlomo na dufatluweli wa nakibu hulu ba yona uli sirile mtlomore. The tuarin tuwe hulu, li sire hile. And because I think the next sire hile, the way I got me, I had to switch the phone off. Because you had deployed me to Limpopo. Hey, kiko duwe. Indeed, his vision for basic education went beyond just improving test scores and academic performances. In the last meeting I was with him, he said, Minister, in terms of announcer, everybody wanting to know Rupa Sitsi Baba guy. We must go to a stage where Chancellor Talu Sorba Faiti Mba Faiti Johan. So every child who reaches grade 12 should pass. He says we should also run a campaign that meets for all. This government is about the party or real forty-five. It should be meets for all, and agree how we are going to get a state to a state where it's meets for all. He had lots of ideas also, and I, I, I will follow up with the province to even start a provincial assessment. Because he says I can't assess a grade twelve for fail. But I assess from grade R national. Kiss over Miami at two aka, and that's what he was already working on. So his vision for basic education even went beyond test scores, but not exactly to look at the test scores. As I said in the last results, his, the difference was so high, I even told other MEC directors, that central Mwapela and I was both second and third, I want to say I'm a natural, a natural life woman. He also understood that education was a pathway to a better life a means of lifting individuals and communities out of poverty and towards a brighter future. He worked tirelessly to ensure that every child in the free state had access to quality education, regardless of their background and circumstances. And you say, as you say, as you, sometimes when I go to schools, because he never had that feeling in that he knew that there were people, they are working, and what is it that they are doing. And his tenure, as it was reported repeatedly during the week, he had seven years, and I can tell you they were friends with Pangeza, but they were fighting. <laughs> Toe to toe, there was a year he disrupted, uh, the Sufi disrupted, how then disrupted a uh, free state, out over seven years in conse consecutively. Ah, a key four, immediately the Sufi again, a kahari, Halla, Tetika, Roskalla, Femuna, Kitika, Lebatuva, and Libon, and to gently do by the Halla. Araka Hut, like Arta Hut, Araka Hut, like the Hutela Muleva, how son of Untata da Melamu. Kermar Limonse, architect, how thing you watch the Limonse, our architect and twill. And because he was a gentleman, he laughed at it and started congratulating the Sufi and say, Fan Kitro Bonsa, Kitro, what a poor water, what a lorry, Uskan, Uskan, Troy, Skan Katamel. He really was in a league of his own, a pathfinder. He was driven by the quest to eradicate poverty and underdevelopment. He was committed to the people of this country and was unwavering as he worked tirelessly to ensure that they received the best education. And indeed, he was a man of integrity, of principles, living his life by the values he held. And as other speakers had said, really loved his family. When he were in Cape Town, he'll bring Junior with him, will sit. At the end of the day, we ended up knowing his family because he really cared for his family. And I want to join people who are saying, Ula Palanta Rale Washe, for sharing him with us. He was the most beautiful soul to have been part of us. Who were the Muli class, especially those two days were tough. We worked hard in those two days, in the last two weeks when I was here in the Free State. But we really want to thank you most sincerely for having shared such a great person with us. For really this great son that we all cherish, we'll cherish his memory, we'll try to ease the pain of him sleeping away. And indeed, his death is a reminder of the fleeting nature of life and the importance of leaving a lasting legacy. 
It also rem reminds us that material things and friendships are temporary. His physical presence is, may be gone, but his spirit lives. And I really want to thank even the Free State team, his managers, because all this talent will not have shown. So I want to thank you, the officials of the Free State Education Department, but we also want to thank the family, Cheka Chilo Junior, they really used to love each other. Not Hashaba Junior, you could see this kid is in awe at the greatness of his father. On the other hand, Tate was in, at, in awe at the achievements of his son. So, Kilewa, Hulu Mutabisi, just a pillar of Anamaka. Are you on to Ebushro of it? All I can do is that Tatewa Luna was indeed simply the best. All I can do is to wish you all the best. After I got the call from Tate, I started playing the Tina Tena, which we were playing with him. So much for a clock, he rattled the Kana King. It was the only way I really want to remember the man because, indeed, he was simply the best. And we will always remember him, Kayuna, because he really liked that Tina Tena piece. And I played it the whole day on Sunday as a way of really recognizing that simply the best has gone. Thank you, ma'am. All right, that is uh, the Minister of Basic Education, and Mutsekha, there at uh, speaking at the funeral service of uh, the late Free State MEC for Education, Tate uh, Mako, expressing sadness, uh, but also gratitude for what she says was the time shared with him. She said, uh, we honour a life well lived in service of uh, humanity. She said Tate was often her sounding board and she would take uh, trips with him uh, overseas to conferences so that uh, they could share uh, information that they received at uh, the various conferences that they did attend there together. Uh, and some kind words certainly to uh, the family. Family in a time of uh, grief. All right, let's take a